All right, so before we get into how to make a model, I'm going to show you an option for those who suck at creating things. So if you suck at Blender or making things, there are options you can do. So what I have is I Googled free 3D models and I've got a whole bunch of stuff available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to one that I, okay, here we go. So this one is something I used when I first started Blender. I downloaded a 3D model just to see how it was made and try and figure it out. And this one's a good way to go. So what we're gonna do is search for low poly gun. <clears throat> now, something you wanna keep in mind is Project Zomboid is not like a first person shooter. So you do not need an object like this shotgun here. This is very high detail. You'll never see that detail. Plus, it's going to be a big file, and it's going to cause some lag in the game. So what you want to look for is low poly. Now, it can be this, something that looks like unturned, or preferably, it can actually look like this. It's not a lot of detail, but depending on how this guy made it, this actually may work. Oh, actually, it won't. So it looks like this guy made some animations. Yeah, and removable stuff. So I don't think that may work. Let's go to something simple. <clears throat> really? Killing me. Let's see what else we have. Okay, let, let's just say AK-47 for right now. This looks like it's a lot of detail, but... Oh, actually, it's not that bad. It's only got 6,609 tries, so that's not bad. Preferably in Project Zomboid, you want your try count to be as low as possible. Um, for the M4 I did, I believe it was about 1,200 tries. So let's see. Okay, it looks like somebody made animations into this. I have no idea what that means. Well, I, I do, but I don't know how to mess with it. But we'll ignore it for now. So since this is a model you did not create, you have to pay attention to see if there's a license on it. In this case, it is. This guy was so lovely to have a commercial use license, which basically means you can use this into your game and make money from it. But we don't make money off of Project Zomboid because it's not our game and you shouldn't do it. So that just means you can, but we're not. In this case, we can use it. And of course, Project Zomboid has a universal policy saying credit is where it's due. So we're going to credit this guy if we decide to use it in the game. In this case, we're not going to use it in the game. I'm only using this as an example to show you how to import it into Blender. So let's say we want to use this. We're going to download it. <coughs> and in this case, you get the first download for free. Or not. What I mean is you can download whatever you want one time, but any additional downloads, you have to log in. So now that we download it, let's show it in the folder. I've got it on my second monitor. So for right now, you're just going to have to bear with me. And I'm going to put this on the desktop. Okay, so we got it on the desktop. Let's go back to Blender. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the OBJ file. So we're going to go down to File, Import, and Wavefront.obj. We're going to navigate to our desktop. We're going to go to where we downloaded it, and here we go. We've got ak47.obj. Select that and import. Okay, so we imported the model, but we also have a square in the way. So in object mode, you're going to right-click that square. You're going to press X to delete it. And there we go we have our model in the game. Now, of course, it doesn't look like what we saw in the picture, well, wherever it was, because, well, to be honest with you, I don't know. But it doesn't matter because we're gonna paint this thing later. Um, we're not gonna paint this one, but this is basically how you import a model. And from here, you can actually see up here at the menu, how, the try count and all that. So this is not a bad model to start with. Now. Let me show you a little detail it has. Things like this, specific details, the, the safety selection switch, the bolt charging handle, the gas tube, the cleaning rod, 
the little iron sight here, you're not gonna see that at all in the game. So you don't really need it. Just remember when you're creating this model, there's a lot of stuff you're not gonna see in game. So it can look ugly in Blender, but it actually can turn out pretty good while you're in the game. <clears throat> okay, so let's say we just, okay, so we actually did import this. Um, now in order to get this into the game, what we need to do is download the import and export script from the forms. So what we're gonna do is, oh, excuse me, these are other model sites that I found on Google, which I'm sure you can find. All I'm saying is I use free 3D because it just, it just works. I didn't really explore anything else. But okay, let's go back to topic. Let's go to Project Zomboid and get those import export scripts. <clears throat> just remember Google is your friend. So the Indie Stone, that's the forms. Let's click that because that's what we want. Okay, so here's the main topic on the forms, and this is what we want. So we're gonna click, we're gonna right click and open a new window, the import script, and it shows the raw file. So we're gonna press Control A to select everything and press Control C to copy it. And now we're going to go to our desktop, right click and select new, text document, we're gonna name this import. And from here, we're gonna click into it. We're gonna press Control V to paste what we copied. We're gonna select file and save to save. So now you've got your import script. Let's get our export script. <coughs> so we're gonna exit out of that. We're gonna right click and select new tab on export. This opens up to the GitHub, and I've got a zoomed out view, so let me hold control and zoom in with the mouse to zoom in so you can see. And here we go. We're going to select raw, and now we have a raw copy. So we're going to select control A to select everything, and control C to copy. Let's go back to the desktop, create a new text document. We're going to type export, and remember you can keep the TXT there. We're going to open that file up, press Control V to paste, and save it. So now that we have our scripts saved, we can save these wherever you want. If you want to be organized, you can save it like me and put it in a special folder, or you can leave it on your desktop. It's up to you. <clears throat> so we're going to open up Blender. And in order to get this rifle into the game, we have to size it properly. So in order to do that, we need a reference. We gotta figure out what size, oh shit. See? <laughs> so when I remove the rifle, this looks like he made the ammunition or the pieces for ammunition available. So that sucks, but let's select them and delete them and pretend that did not happen. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Let's move this out of the way. And what we need to do is import a model from Project Zomboid that is in the game and that works. So in this case, we're going to import the shotgun and see how small it is. <clears throat> so at the bottom, this is your time clock or your timeline, whatever the thing is, I don't care. Just select it and choose text editor. From here, you have a text editor view. But we want to open a file. We don't want to type. So the file that says, whoops, where is it? Here we go, I'm blind. Import, you wanna to go to import, you're gonna select it, and now you notice that it's actually in there. So that's good. Now we're gonna select run script. And from here, we can find the file we want to import. So let me find where Project Zomboid is. For me, I have like a few hard drives and SSDs and I have games everywhere. So for you, it's gonna be different, but basically you're gonna to go to where Steam is installed and go to Steam Apps Common and look for it. Project Zomboid, here we go. So we're, we're in Project Zomboid. We're gonna to go to Media and Models. 
from here, we're going to select weapon shotgun dot text. We're going to highlight it. And at the very top right, we're going to import a zombie model. So now that we have that zombie model imported, look how small that thing is. And look how big that rifle is. So let's say if we imported this thing right now, this rifle will be huge. <laughs> so let's go ahead and press A to deselect that. And then we're going to right click. Oh, let's go to object mode first. There we go. So we, we clicked on the rifle. Now we can manipulate this rifle to shrink it and get it to that size. So let's do that now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to press R and X to rotate it until it's upside down. I'm going to press R and Y. Oh, that's the wrong way. R, or damn, R and Z. Here we go. To get it in the same direction as the shotgun. So there we go. It's let's fine tune it. Press R and Z again. Okay, you know what? It's hard to fine tune when it's so big. So let's scale it down first. So we're going to press S and scale it. We're going to scale it to the point to where we think it actually works. And you know what? I think that's a good fit. But you know what? Let, let, no, let's make it a little smaller. There we go. That looks pretty good for now. So at this point, it actually looks pretty well lined up, but the barrel's pointing up a little bit. So let's fix that. I'm going to press R and Y. Well, that's not it. So R and X. There we go. Let's adjust my view first. R and X. Okay. So that's, well, let's go adjust it one more time. So basically, it's a bunch of fine-tuned adjustments that will fit this rifle in perfectly. So let's move it up, and that looks good. So we're going to press A to deselect it. We're going to select the butt of this shotgun. That way, we can be sure we only select the shotgun, and we're going to delete that thing. So press X to delete and confirm it, and there we go. We've got our, our weapon. <clears throat> so from here, there's a few things we must do. And it's very important. But first, let's rotate this thing one more time. Okay, there. Okay, so now that you've got your weapon in a good position, there's very important steps you must take. Otherwise, you're going to scratch your head for a month like I did. First, we'll do a step that I already know about. So we're going to get that out of the way. We're going to go to Object. While in object mode, we're selecting object, apply, rotation, and scale. So now, once that's done, um, oh, I don't know where, what, whatever. We need to apply that, otherwise it's going to appear messed up. So once that is done, this is the most important step. Select object mode and go to edit mode. Because of that, I was scratching my head for about a freaking month figuring out why I can't get this thing positioned in the player's arms properly. So that little small thing, or a simple curly boy in the wrong place in a code can mess your day up. <laughs> so this thing looks good, the position's well. Let's actually adjust the rotation a bit because it looks like crooked. There you go. So that looks pretty good. We have it selected, and now we want to export this thing. So and to do that, it's very simple. We're going to open up the export text. And instead of import, it says exports. So we're going to run the script. And now we can save it wherever we want. In this case, let's save it to the desktop. It's important to name it a specific thing, but we'll cover that a little later. For now, let's just name it ak47.txt and then export a zombie model. And there you go. Let's minimize it and confirm that it did it, and here it is. Now you open it up and you see this stuff. This is good news because you have a model ready to go. Now, there are more things to do as far as working with Lua and making sure the names are right, but we're gonna cover that in a different video. This video only shows you how to find a model online 
scale it down, and export it into the game. So now that you know that, uh, let's see what other videos I'm going to create because I have no idea what the next one is. <laughs> All right, if you got any questions, go ahead and uh, send a comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Um, quick thing, I'm not a professional, but I love this game, and I want to see people have more creativity into it. I want to see a lot of people push out what they love to see in the game. So that, that's why I'm doing this, and that's why I'm making these videos. If you've got questions, please post them up. Contact me on Discord. Do what you need, and I will do my best to get back to you. But remember, I have a life, and I may not respond immediately. But other than that, uh, enjoy my videos, and I will see you guys later.